Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a newer release from Standard Manufacturing called the Thunderstruck S333 Gen 3. And you're saying, I've seen that revolver before. Isn't that the one that fires two shots per each trigger pull? And the answer is, yes it is. But this one is different, it's a Gen 3. So they came out with the first generation. People were like, whoa, what's that? I've never seen anything like that. Two shots, one trigger pull. Yes, it is completely legal. And then they came out with the second generation, which I'm going to compare with this. And now this is the third generation. A few things about this revolver that makes it very unique. It is an eight shot double action revolver chambered in 22 Magnum. And with each trigger pull, it fires two shots through those double barrels. The Gen 3s, made some improvements they did keep the same grip which is a polymer grip but it has a little bit of a squish to it so it gives it a rubber feel to it open-ended untrigger guard if you will it has a trigger bar safety right there all right without actuating that it will not fire with just the the bottom section of the trigger and then here you've got a little safety here in case you throw it in the pocket and, and honestly this is a pretty easy pocket carry pistol it, it really is it has an aluminum frame but another thing that makes the gen 3 different is that this area here is polymer and it's actually a little bit lighter for those who like the styre trapezoidal sights they actually added those with this Thunderstruck S333 Gen 3, all right? A little bit of a mouthful. But here you have the rear sights that are angled lines and a triangle. And the reason I say Steyr is because Steyr uses sights like that. They call them trapezoidal sights, and they're actually very cool. I like the way those align. They made the upper a little longer. And then they extended the barrels to two and a quarter inches. So if we look at the second generation, it's a little more compact. It has the same overall function. Eight shot double action revolver. Two, two shots fired per trigger pull. Same polymer grip, but this has an aluminum frame throughout. This has polymer. And as I mentioned, it's lighter. But here is where you're going to see the greatest difference. Well, we'll show the sights first. Three dot versus the trapezoidal sights. But here's mainly where you're going to see the difference. Right there. One and a half inch barrels on the left with the generation two. And two and a quarter inch barrels with the generation three. And they extended the upper to meet those barrels. Okay, so they can fit in there given pretty much the same distance that the barrel stick out from the frame. All right, overall, similar function with longer barrels always equals increased accuracy. Now, this is the generation two, it is very similar except for the differences I mentioned, but you can stack the the trigger so if you don't want to pull it you can release it and nothing will happen this does have internal transfer bars so i pull back i said no i'm not going to fire this time i could release no fires i could stack it and then if i want to fire a little bit more pressure just like that all right it's not the most accurate revolver you're going to find if this has an inch and a half barrel do you think it would be and even this with two and a quarter inch it's not going to be the most accurate but if you know the history behind this gun it's called the thunderstruck it actually says it right there thunderstruck gen 3 and this says thunderstruck and the first generation is a thunderstruck but the s333 is what standard manufacturing says the S, I have to believe that's standard. Three, three shots, three seconds, three yards away. That's what they claim is the most, most often type of self-defense situation. The Gen 3, that's actually a larger revolver, is weighing in at 17 and 7 eighths ounces. So we'll round up to 18 ounces. The Gen 2, that is 
a little bit shorter is weighing in at 19 and a quarter so you're looking at a over over an ounce lighter with the new generation 3 now i have pocket carried this before it's actually a pretty comfortable pocket carry it's it's not bad it feels nice in the pocket and the trigger is heavy there's no doubt about that but when you pull that bam you're going to get two shots fired right through there and so that's what's new with standard manufacturing they have a new thunderstruck s333 it has some advantages over the gen 2 model and the msrp remains the same 429 so if you look at their site this here is 429 for the gen 2 and the gen 3 is 429 but you're getting a better revolver because the barrels are longer you're getting nicer sights and you're getting the same function two shots per trigger pull very interesting concept a lot of people have these and love them and now i have the new generation 3 model if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe